the pandemic change. Did it change how you dress for work? Yeah, maybe perhaps you ditched the suit and tie for cozier clothing or working from home just made your pajamas your new uniform. It seems that shift has had some unintended consequences. Dry cleaners now drying up. It is a transition this longtime business in Cattaraugus County is navigating right now. Our Michael Schwartz met the family behind Ash Cleaners in Olean, preparing now to say goodbye to a century of memories. For the past 100 years, the Ash family has been dry cleaning clothes in Olean. I was 10 years old. My dad let me come down to the store and I would uh, give me odds and ends to do to just keep me busy and out of trouble. In his 90s, John J. Ash continues to work at the store. And as the years went by, you might say that I <laughs> Moved up the ladder. His father, also John, a World War I veteran, opened the shop around 1920. But the cleaners have announced it will be closing in May. I never thought I would see the day that, that this would happen. I just assumed that maybe we were lucky enough to have someone come in and want to purchase you know, the business. And but that didn't happen. Just by walking through the aisles of clothes, you would think that business is booming. But managers tell me that they used to have way more clothes than this. A major impact has been the wave of people working from home, not needing their clothes dry cleaned since the start of the pandemic four years ago. The pandemic really hurt us, you know, people not wearing not dressing as you know, professionals or working from home. Peter Ash tells me that staff would be slammed, especially on holidays. I remember as a kid during uh, Easter week, they would break for dinner, then they'd come back and they'd press till nine o'clock at night. A mainstay of the community. Patty Ann Brown has been a customer since 1986. My sister-in-law came in to have her 80th birthday party here in Olean so that she could be with my husband. They opened up at one of the local churches so that you could take pictures, so that the family could take pictures in the church. For now, John J. Ash continues to come to work every day in a shirt and tie. They're very emotional that it's going to happen. What more can I say? Michael Schwartz, 7 News Olean.